Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to lead off with some wood chi because we are now into the spring part of the Chinese calendar. It comes right just a few days before the Chinese New Year. So uh, we're um, just gearing up. So we're shifting from the maximum yin of winter, which is water. And we're now going into the, going from yin to yang. There's this expansion, a gentle expansion. It begins very quietly. And much like the things budding and coming up, pushing their way up through the, uh, through the cracks. And uh, the wood goes from, from that maximum yin to heading in the direction of the maximum yang of summer. And... Um, so the wood is the wood element is uh, associated with liver and liver chi, and so there there is that, and with that also comes the tendons, ligaments, the connective tissue system. So uh, and that's a real favorite of mine. So the uh, uh, the way one real fast way to access this this energy is through the fingertips. So you imagine you have these claws and you're just kind of you're grabbing with your your fingernails and um, that uh, immediately kicks in the the wood chi and and gets your liver all excited because the liver feeds your heart so the uh, so this is the the the, the initial phase you know that's young young fukui says that you know the uh heaven has five sons and uh, the first sun is is spring, and the and wood, and that's so we're getting. This is the beginning of the process of the year. So, and you want to have your your kung fu aligned with the with the seasons. And so, this time we're going to begin with the wood chi of uh, uh, of springtime, and we're going to do that accessing that through uh, some. Ichuan movements. Ichuan is a uh, uh, one of the internal arts. It's kind of an offshoot of Xing Yichuan, but it's really the really stripped down bear to the the interaction between body, mind, and spirit to create energy, and it does that by holding poles in opposition. So. Um, We'll be playing with that. And then once we do that a little bit, we're going to go into the next movement in the Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. And this week that will be uh, going into uh, fist under elbow will be the next movement. And so uh, uh, let's see anything else. No, I think let's, let's just get, get to it. And um, I've discussed wood in earlier classes. And so I don't want to get, too deep into the, uh, the the theory behind it, but where we really want to, so think of it as an expansive kind of quality. So where there's a real distinction between the yin and the yang, the, and the earth is what's feeding it, just like a tree, the, the earth is what feeds the wood so that the tree's upward expansion, that growth, it comes from tapping into this yin, yin of the of the earth element. So let's uh, stand up and uh, let's get after it. All right, let's begin with the uh, three pillars. And so you want to start, feel the, your, um, your weight centered over the balls of your feet to start to get this get this going. These are unlocked. They're sinking. Feel yourself sinking down, down into the earth. So you're really tapping into that that earth quality there. Releasing downward very soon. Simultaneously, you want to reach up with the crown of the head. So here we're getting we're getting this woody kind of energy right off the bat. The earth roots, the roots are sinking down, reaching down into the earth and simultaneously 
the crown is reaching up and like very much like a like a uh, daffodil will be kind of pushing its way up here very shortly and from my in my backyard it'll be kind of reaching up there extending upward so we're doing that with our bodies and uh, simultaneously opening the jade pillow gate tucking in the chin a little bit and really extending and feeling that energy moving up the spine and uh, so then uh, release your hip joints, do a little turn there, just get that, make contact, you're, spin, you're, you're releasing and getting very sung in the, in the quad. The elbows reach out a little bit and open up the shoulder joints. So you're opening up the shoulder gates. Point and reach with your, your index fingers. And also you want to begin to feel those fingertips, those finger fingernails. You want to kind of grab with that. So, and uh, so here we are. Um, let's uh, step out. Do a little each round here. Begin. So just begin by sinking down, releasing down as you your hands come up. You're carrying the energy, reaching. You feel that reach out, opening, and. Feel your elbows reaching out, your wrists reaching out, your shoulders opening up between your shoulder blades. Feel your spine. Feel that extension there. And as you reach out, you're opening, reaching with the fingers. And now pull in. And as you pull in, you want to feel the fingernails as you pull back. As you extend out, reach out, open the fingers, extend them. You're reaching out. So this is the yang phase here, expanding, reaching, and yin, you're pulling in. And this time you're feeling those fingernails as if you're grabbing with your talons, pulling back in. And reaching out. Now, as you do this, Retreat with your body. Your body moves back away from your hands. And as you pull in yin, your body comes forward. Pull back with your elbows and reach forward. Yang, expansion, open. And into the balls of your feet as you do that. And then into your heels as you Pull back and your body comes forward and reach out. Pull back. Good. Now step forward with your right foot. Now you sink into your, as you sink into your Back foot, your left foot, you're moving away and you're reaching out, opening. And sink into your front leg, your front quad, you're loading that up as you pull back and reach back with the fingernails. And forward. Rotate your arms as you go forward so the palms are down. And then as you come back, your arms come back, your body comes forward and rotate palms up. And sink in the back and reaching out, open and pulling back. Uh, it's really nice and relaxed. So what we're doing here is we're creating this sort of bellows effect with the chi and it is pumping through 
your body and it is feeding your connective tissue system, your tendons, your ligaments. It's increasing the circulation throughout the whole system. And create this yin-yang effect. And there's a yin and a yang in every movement, depending on which one you're focusing on. Palms down as you reach out, palms up as you come back. Reach with the fingers, grab with the talons with your fingernails. And step back, step forward with the left foot and reaching and pulling. Nice and gentle. This is something that doesn't need any ramp up. You don't have time to do a full practice. You wanna just get out there and just do something. Just do this for a minute, do it for 30 seconds. What you're doing is you're establishing a pattern. You get it so your body will like it. Nice and gentle. Feel your feet as you move back and forth. Feel that earth connection. So the whole body is making these movements. And pull. step in. Now we're going to feel that without moving. You're reaching out as your body pulls back. You're, you're pulling back with your fingernails as your body comes forward, but not moving. So this is that, that contradictory impulse that generates the chi. We're activating the preparation for the movement mentally and feeling it in the body, but without actually executing with the muscles. Take into your heels and press down. Bring your hands, palms facing down. And feel into your, uh, feel into your fingers, feel into your hands. Feel those fingernails. You're nourishing your liver. Feeling that wood chi throughout the whole system, your entire connective tissue system, which links up every cell in your body. And then hands reach down, sink into your heels and relax. Really sung everything down except your crown. Crown of the head still reaching up, but everything else very soon. Feel the 
blood circulating in your forearms, in your hands, your fingers. Feel into the bone marrow. Feel the nourishment that's going on there. Here's where we're, we are allowing the, the big chi to move through the, the heaven chi, the yang chi of the heavens, the yin chi of the earth, circulating through. And we prime the pump with our movements. And now we can to sort of relax and allow the energy to move through, to circulate. And it's something that we don't have to encourage at this point. It's just we've created, we've created structures that allow the energy to move where we want it to move. And you can Focus on your lower dantian down here and below your uh, below your navel as you breathe in. Just feel that expansion into there and allow that energy to settle in and feed all the other parts of your body. We gather the energy in that in that lower dantian to get the uh, to get the process started. Allow it to circulate throughout the whole system. We're not hanging on to the energy. We're storing it for a moment, and we're letting it go. Step in. Take a deep breath. Go into the balls of your feet, gather yang, yang expansion. Now into the heels and uh, settle yin, yin, sinking. And empty out. Allow yourself to dissolve into the insubstantiality of your form. You're not clinging to anything now. Okay, so let's do the, uh, let's take that energy, that wood chi, and use it to fill up our Tai Chi Tran form now. So let's begin by gently going through it. I'll talk you through the, uh, the, uh, the opening movements. Really nice and slow, so you can really feel into it, and then we'll get into uh, the, the next movement in the form time we got. Plenty of time. Six. Step back one step. Back one step. There we go. Okay. Um, so we would really feel into those three pillars. Feel the balls of your feet, reach to the crown of your head, tuck in the chin, reach of the elbows. Feel those fingernails. Claws nice and soon. Now feel the balls of both feet.
Now feel the heel of your right foot. And this begins a process of creating substantiality in the right leg. Spiral down to the left, so you're releasing downward as you turn, moving, turning from the quad. So you're loading up that right leg, creating, going from 50-50, about 70-30 now, and turn. Feel the ball of your foot as you turn. Going from yin to yang now. We have now we have about 90% in the right leg. And we go to the heel and pick up the left heel as you sink down even more into that right leg. So you get very sung into the right leg. Feel, feel the support of that. And then you step nice and slow, nice and easy with the left foot. With the your right leg still having uh, about 90% of the weight, you're very substantial in that right leg. It is a supporting leg. Now we're going to feel the heel of the left foot. And set the left knee in. Uh, slowly sink into that left quad a little bit. So we're starting to load up that left leg, creating substantiality in the left leg now. It's becoming the dominant leg. Still reaching with the crown, tucking in the chin, feeling those fingernails. And now turn, go into the ball of your foot as you turn, pivot on the right heel, and you're back to the center. And go into the heels and feel into the yin. Settling into 50-50, but feeling that fullness. We, we're into the, 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 the expanded fullness of the Tai Chi here. It's balanced, but it is full of potentiality. Now we're going to the balls of the feet and reach with the wrists. Relax your shoulders. Feel the heaviness of your arms. Feel the fingernails as you're coming up. Reach with the fingers. Feel those fingernails. Reach with the elbows. Open between your shoulder blades. Feel that expansion, that young expansion. And now go to your heels and your elbows reach down. Bend the wrists so the fingers rise as you come down, sinking. Really feeling very sung in that, yeah, in your, in both feet. You're releasing downward, feeling that earth. And then go into the balls of your feet as you reach down with the fingers and open. You feel that young expansion. I feel the heel of the left foot and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that left quad, you're loading up the left leg, you're sinking down in, feeling that, that connection throughout your whole body. Your elbows are reaching out a little bit. Shoulders are relaxed. Your, your hands are very full right now. And go to the ball of your foot as you turn and reach with your right hand. Reach with your right wrist as you extend outward. You're reaching out with the fingers. Reaching down with your left hand. So here's the yang part of this, this movement. We're into the cloud hands part now. Feel the left heel, set the left knee, and you're sinking into the left quad. You're releasing down to the right, to the left, and then turn. You're in the heel, reaching with the right elbow. The left hand comes across, and whenever you reach that point, 
where you cross the center line, you go into the ball of the, left, the right foot. And this goes from yin to yang, expanding, reaching out, opening. Now feel the left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. You're starting to load up the left quad now, reaching with the left heel, the left elbow. As you reach down with the right hand, and as you cross the center line, you go to the ball of your left foot and reach, open, extend. Feel you're reaching with your wrist, you're reaching with your fingers, reaching with the crown of your head, young. Right heel, set the right heel, right knee, spiral down to the left, and as you're turning, reaching with the left elbow, the right elbow. And as you cross, you go from the heel to the ball of the foot, the right foot, as you turn to the right and reach out, opening, feeling that expansion, that extension. Now, feel the heel of the right foot, You're staying on the same leg. The right leg is the substantial leg. We're gonna keep it that way for the moment and spiral down to the right. So we're loading up that right quad so that it gets nice and substantial because it's going to do the work while we pick up the left heel and then we make our step out, keeping the, the weight centered over the right leg. It becomes, it's still the substantial leg, the weight bearing leg that's doing all the work. And the left heel, feel the left heel, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. You're starting to load up the left quad. The left leg is becoming more substantial. And turn, reaching with the left elbow. And now go to the ball of the left foot as you go from yin to yang, reaching out and step in a little bit with the right foot. your opening. And so that's our cloud hands. Now we're gonna go into the single whip. So you feel the heel of your right foot spiral down to the left and then turn. And as you turn, you get to the center line, the right hand forms a bird's beak. Your wrist is bent, your elbow is dropped. Your left hand is under uh, cupped under your navel. You barrel down all the way into the right quad. So you're really loading up that right leg. It's got about 70% there now. And you then you feel the ball of the right foot and turn. And as you turn, you reach out with the right wrist, comes up to about ear height. And your body turns 90 degrees, so you're looking into the into the corner, left front corner now. And you're reaching out into the right front corner. So you got about 90 degrees there with the, between your your navels pointing that way in the left front corner, your right right wrist is pointing into the right front corner. And just feel into that. Feel that expansion there, that yang posture there, because now we're gonna go yin. We're gonna go into the heel of the right foot, spiraling down to the right. And pick up the left foot, the left heel, and gonna step out with the left, reach with the left elbow, the left wrist open, and feel that opening there, that wide expansive Left palm is up. You're in a left heel now. It's taking over, it's becoming the substantial leg. Feel that opening in your shoulders and your chest, reaching with that right wrist. And then turn, go into the ball of your left foot, turn, pivoting on the right heel, rotating the left forearm, and the right arm goes out to the perpendicular 
to the uh, to your where your body is facing, so it's reaching toward the front of the room, and uh, your elbow drop. Your right wrist is up about ear height. Left hand is reaching out straight out from the uh, from the shoulder. So now let's go forward from here. So the next move looks like this. And it's usually called fist under elbow. And a lot of people do it with the fist actually under the elbow. I, per, I don't find that to be as energetically uh, sound as under the, uh, on the center line there, under your, under your navel. So you bring their, your fist down here. You're, notice that the, the left hand is reaching straight out from my shoulder. Elbows dropped. You can see that. The right fist is down there below my navel. I'm uh, almost 100%, about 95% in my right leg, just lightly on the heel of my left foot as I finish up there. So let's take that from the uh, from the single whip. So we're here. What we're going to do? We're going to feel the feel the uh, heel of the left foot and spiral down to the right. So we're just going to load up the claw here, the left claw. We're going to release down, and then we're going to this. So we feel that into the heel, and then we're going to put to the ball and turn. And as we turn, the right wrist comes up, the left hand comes down, and your right foot steps in on the, just lightly on the toe. So we're going from here to spiral down, you're into the Left heel, you're spiraling down. You're going to use the left leg to to create the uh, to create the force, the, the the propelling motion. Notice also when I do this, my claw moves. Notice my right hand is not is not. I'm not doing this. I'm not opening like that. I'm just happening at here at the claw is is moving like that. So we're cocking into into the claw, and the right wrist stays out. Uh, where, where, it's, where it has been. But then I'm going to go into the ball of the foot and then uh, reach up with the right wrist. The left hand comes down and step in with the right foot. So my weight is almost all of it still in that left foot at this point, in the ball of the left foot. And now uh, I'm going to go into the heel of my left foot, or my right foot. And this is going to go from yang here, this yang expansion, to a yin. As I sink, my right hand comes down, my right elbow reaches down. Same time, as I'm sinking down into my right leg, my left hand is coming up to chest height. So my right hand comes all the way down to below my navel. My left hand is right in front of my chest, but still lined up with the shoulder. Okay, so it's, uh, so it's, it's coming in, but it's chest height. So I've gone up, my hand's coming up to here, reaching up there. The right hand is coming down to here. So what's happening here is I'm now in my right heel, I'm spiraling down to the left as I load up here. And I'm going to the ball of the right foot and go under the heel of the left foot and reach out with the right hand. The left hand, I'm sorry. Reach out with the left hand. The right hand stays down below here. So what we have here is the young hand is the left the, the left hand is young, it's reaching out, and the right fist is the yin fist. So it's it's reaching down. I'm still sinking into that into that right leg. 
feeling the ball of the, uh, the right foot as I reach out there. So let's do that again. A lot of moving parts to this is for a very simple movement, but I find that they all contribute to the to getting the energy correct, getting the energy really cranked up and moving. And more importantly, the chin, getting able to express the energy. So here we are, so we feel the heel of the left foot spiral down to the right. Begin reaching up with the right wrist, left hand comes down and step in with your right foot. You're opening up here. Young. Now we go into the heel of the right foot and as we do that, the right hand comes down, left hand comes up to, to chest height, you spiral down to the left. You're in the heel of the right foot, you spiral down to the left, your left hand comes up to, to chest height. Your right hand goes from the bird's beak as it comes down and turns into a fist whenever it's down there below your navel. So now you're going to use your ball of your right foot to turn the body back to center and your left foot goes onto the heel as you reach out with your left hand. And you open up. Okay, again. Um, from single whip. I didn't mention it before, but notice how my back leg is almost straight, and I want to have my spine kind of in line with the uh, with the back leg. So your right wrist about ear height, reaching out there, and so you feel the heel of your left foot spiral down to the right, and ball of the left foot, and step in reach up with the right wrist. Left hand reaches down. Feel the heel of the right foot, the right foot and spiral down to the left. As your right hand comes down, left hand comes up to chest height. So we're gathering into, into the right claw. It's spiraling down to the left because we're going to be turning back to center now. And as we go to the ball of the right foot, we go into the heel of the left, reach up with the left hand. Okay. Let me do it facing you once, just to get the you know, you know get the, the look there. So we're we're here like this. Okay, so it's left heel spiral down to the right. Notice that my arms are not moving as I do this. It's just happening here. I exaggerate. I'm going like that. But really just unlocking the claw, releasing down into the left leg. And now I go into the ball of the left foot and ah, reach up, step in, reach down with the left. Okay. Now go into the heel of the Right foot spiral down to the left as your right hand comes down, left hand comes up to center line, up to, not the center line, up to uh, chest height. Right hand is, is on the center line below the, below the navel. So now I'm spiraling down to the left. Notice my body is, as a, it definitely has turned to the left because now I'm gathering the energy so that I can go to the ball of the right foot and turn, and as I turn back to center, I reach out and go on the heel of my left foot. Cool. Okay, what do we got here? Time. Oh, we got a little bit of time. Uh, any questions on this? We can we can have time to get another move in here if we uh, uh, if there's if there's any uh, any questions. We good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, excellent. Let's do one more. Okay, here we go. So, 
Uh, we're here at just under elbow. And so the next movement <coughs> looks like this. This is white crane spreads wing, spreads wings. So we're, we're going from, from fist under elbow, step of the left foot, reach, and then turn, and go. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Fist under elbow. So our weight is in the ball of the right foot. So we want to go into the heel of the right foot and uh, release the quad, spiraling down to the left and step out a little bit to the side. Just notice it's when I'm, I'm in my fist under elbow, I'm, uh, my heels are pretty much lined up. So here I want to just step out a few inches to the side. Still a fairly narrow stance, but we're going going that route. So we're going to go, and so we feel the heel of the right foot spiral down to the right, loading up that right claw, and step out with the left foot. Now feel the ball of the left foot. Push your left knee out and spiral down to the to the right, and then turn and reach with the right hand. So the right hand, so we're going from here, we step out, spiral down to the right, we step out with the left heel, spiral down to the, to the right, and then turn, go to the ball of the foot as we reach with the fingers. Okay, there's a reaching with the fingers, we're in, loaded up into that left leg at that point. So again, so right heel spiral down to the right, step with the left foot. Left heel spiral down to the right, and then into the ball of the left foot and turn, reaching with the fingers, turning the body. So you're loading up that left leg now. Now you're going to feel the heel of the right foot. Set the right knee spiral down to the left. And then go to the ball of the right foot and turn. As you're turning and you reach. So you're reaching nice and open. There's a few different ways to, to express this. This is a, a much bigger a bigger posture here. You're you're reaching, and the your left hand is accompanying your your right as it reaches up there. It's a real open kind of kind of uh, posture. It can be done much uh, softer than this, much quieter. But this is big, all right. So we so what we're doing we've done here is we're we're into that right claw. We're feeling the right the ball of the right foot as we're reaching up here. This is a young. And then we're going to go into the heel of the left, the right foot. And as we, we go into the heel of the right foot, we spiral down to the right. And now we're going to turn, go into the ball of the right foot. And as we turn, the right hand reaches up and opens. That's a fairly high. This is a little bigger than a lot of forms, but you want to have it. So your right hand is, is, is high and is forward of your head. So it's not like this, it's it's out here. So your elbow, you should be able to see your elbow there in front of you as you're reaching out there. Left hand is reaching down to the side as you do this. You're really opening up here. So the idea is you're opening your shoulders, you're opening the chest, everything's nice and big. So let's do that again, fist under elbow. Right heel, spiral down to the right, step of the left foot. Left heel, spiral down to the right. Now go to the ball of the left foot and turn. Turn, reach with the right palm up. 
So you're loading up that left claw. Now feel the heel of the right foot and spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the uh, the right claw now, and now you're gonna go into the ball of the right foot and turn, 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 turn. Reach, reach with that right hand, opening. You're reaching with both hands here, and so you're loading up your you're loading up with the with that. You go into the heel of the 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 right foot now. You're sinking into that. You're loading up because now we're going to go the other direction. We're loading up the claws. We're going to go into the to the left now. As we turn, the left hand comes across the body. The right foot comes in on the toe, right in front of the 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 left foot comes right in front of the right heel. The right arm big and open. So we get this this big white crane is spreading its wings. Nice and open, really just feel the, feel the energy, feel the connection through your shoulders, through the, through the whole system there. Okay, let's take it from uh, single whip. We'll just do those last two moves. Here we go. And so there's one heel of the left foot spiral, heel of the left foot spiral down to the right, and then Turn to the ball of the left foot, turn to the left, step in, reach up with the right, right heel, spiral down to the left, right hand down, left hand up, right ball, turn back to center, heel of the left as you reach forward, heel of the right foot as you step out with the, with the left. Heel of the left foot, spiral down to the right, and then ball of the left as you turn, reaching with the right hand. Heel of the right foot as you spiral down to the left and turn. Ball of your right foot as you turn, expanding, opening. Heel of the right foot as you spiral down to the right, and then ball of the right foot as you Turn, left foot comes across on the toe, arms big and wide, and we have your white crane. And, and then step in and take a deep breath, open, and close. Throw away the chi. Great, please have a seat. So one, uh, one note here on this, um, that's a lot, particularly the ball, the heel. What the what's going on there? I'm giving uh, I'm giving those notes because they're they're advanced notes for that. You can do this without worrying anything about the uh, about where that's going to be. This is for really regulating your yin yang and at a at a, at a more advanced level. Uh, I've done it for years and uh, taught it for years without including those instructions. But we're taking, since this is the wee bit of alchemy, we're taking it a little deeper. And we're, I want to share with you, you know, what my thoughts are on how to really get the maximum out of, you know, something um, as simple as just a shift from the, the heel to the ball and how that affects your energy. So, uh, but if, uh, please don't be, you know, I'm talking primarily to the people checking in on YouTube. Uh, don't be daunted by all that. Like, I'm never going to remember all that stuff. Don't worry about it. You'll just do it and, and it'll come. Okay. Uh, any, any thoughts, any questions, any 
Any uh, anything? We're all good. Okay, uh, Valerie. I really liked the um, each one that we did in the beginning. The that that set things the stage to go into doing form. So you could do that every week, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, huh? <laughs> it it, uh, it primes it, the pump, definitely. It definitely does. And, you know, it can be done throughout the year, but it's especially helpful in early spring when your your things are just starting to uh, get going to where you're we're cranking up the wood there with that. But the E-Tran can be, you can bring in, the different elements with that also and and do it uh, do it differently so you wouldn't mind a little each man with that uh as, as in, in our warm-up there okay that's good to good to know cool anybody else okay all right good all right thank you all so much and uh thank you, uh, thank you maria thank, thank you maria i love you guys love you too. Bye -bye. Bye.